Woman gives her children away to CPS. Let's get into the video. There's a CPS building. I don't even got nothing I want to say. <clears throat> I've been, I was at the firehouse for like three hours. And I was trying to figure out what to do. And then they called the cops and then the cops came and I talked to the cops and then and they brought us up here to Children's Services. So with that being said, Before they take custody of them, does anybody want them? So yeah. Not a reached out. No response, no nothing, and I'm tired, I'm over it. I let the fuck out of them, but like I said, if anybody wants to take custody of them or whatever, we are up here at Children's Services. I think she's about to walk back in here. What's your plan for tonight? We're going to have you sit in the lobby. I've got to interview the kids. Um, so, um, did you, did the police bring you in with the kids? No, I drove. I just followed them. Okay. And they had the kids in their car, did you? Yeah, they had the kids and the medic with them. Okay. So if you want to sit in the lobby, I'm going to interview them and my supervisor is going to look for a plan to see if we can come up with something. Um, but currently, agency does have custody. They gave us custody. I don't know if they explain that to you. Mm -mm. When the police bring the kids in, they give us what's called law. It's an emergency oh, yeah. custody. Um, just because they have concerns. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm overwhelmed. My health yeah. is... Yeah, like, it's... I don't have no help with them at okay. all. So, I'm going to go back and interview the kids. And right now, um, it's out of dependency. So it's no fault of anybody's, mm -hmm. um, but anything can change. If somebody tells me something, it could be different. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Um, I have a question. Um, I have, like I still have like clothes and stuff. Can I bring their clothes up here, or do you guys get all new clothes? Or um, it will depend. Um, depending on where they go, if they go to a foster home, they'll provide the clothes. They don't usually take clothes from outside because of bed bug concerns and stuff. Yeah, although I don't have none, but yeah. Okay, I know, but you no, know, I know. came from foster parents. <laughs> I would I would feel the same. Um, yeah, if you're bringing kids into your home, you're not going to always trust that. And, and now, if they have special things like blankets or toys, You, when you get assigned a caseworker, you can always work with her on that or him um for that but if you don't mind we'll go back to the lobby if you don't mind sitting there or you want to sit here it's up to you um it really don't matter but um because this is how you're overwhelmed because i love them and, th and this is hard like and this is that. this is killing me yeah but it's for the better like it's yeah. it's for me to get my life better and focus on my schooling my career my health number one my health so i don't fucking die because i can't do shit for them if, I, if i'm dead I can't stop stressing if I don't have help, you yeah. know? So and it's I like, that. and it's like the dads didn't want to help me. They wanted to see me beat. I done lost everything so many mm -hmm. fucking times. <laughs> but you know what? Like I said, I'm going to come back for them. 
And as far as the whole, I suppose, as far as the whole um, foster home thing, like, will it be open? Will I still be able to like see them, yes, bring them gifts yeah. and stuff? Like, what they'll do is they'll set up visitation for you, usually here at the agency or a designation place, whatever the court orders, and you'll be able to see them weekly. Okay, so. that's even better that I can still. So I'm gonna start off by saying that this is tough. This is extremely tough to watch. Um, don't really, I mean, I guess I kind of understand why she, she went live because she was, for what she was saying, she was trying to see if there's anybody that would, will be willing to take them. Um, and I'm guessing maybe she's talking about a family member that wasn't responding to her, her calls or her texts or whatever she did. <sighs> but again, man, like watching something like this is extremely tough. And I always try to look at it from both ends of the spectrum because one thing we can I can honestly say is we don't know. We we don't know what's going on inside of a person's mind. We don't know what a person is going through, what they're experiencing, how they are dealing with those issues. Because, you know, a lot of us grew up in uh in rough neighborhoods, had a tough childhood, and we don't necessarily know how to get through certain things. And you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to to give her some grace again because we don't know. And I'm thinking worst case scenario, you know what I mean? Maybe she did this before she did something that, you know, she will regret, you know, hurting herself in front of the children or, you know, hurting herself and the children, hurting the children. I'm looking at it from from that end of the spectrum. Now, I actually did uh, date someone that was. That was in like foster care and I'm not saying that this is everybody's experience, but I do understand that, you know, certain people in foster care, certain foster homes, man, there's a lot of people in there that, you know, mistreat those children and a lot of them. I have heard a lot of stories about, you know, what goes on when, you know, children are put into the system, when they're taken away from their home. And so, again, looking at it from her end of the spectrum, also thinking about the children, man, like how that's going to have a major impact on their life. Being in the home with their mother and all of a sudden, you know, mom's not necessarily there anymore. Like they're in a completely different environment, scared, you know, maybe not feeling loved or, or, or whatever. Now, they could possibly get with someone or... or you know, go to a, a foster care system that's actually pretty decent. But we don't necessarily know. Now, I think that we done kind of looked at it from both ends of the spectrum. Now we have to put some type of accountability into this, all right? Again, I try to make sure that we're having somewhat of a balance while we are doing these reactions. Because she did say that, you know, the fathers did not want to help, you know what I mean? They want to see her down and out or, or something she was saying. So you got to be careful. You have to be extremely careful about who you pick and choose to have children with. That's men to women. That's women to men. Because situations like this, and she said they're dads, which means, you know, it's more than one father. And again, man, if you sleep with someone and this is not the person that you are trying to spend the rest of your life with or whatever, and I know everybody say they don't want to be married, but there are some people out there that either, you know, if you do want to be married or you don't, I, I do believe that you need to make sure that you are courting people correctly. You need to make sure that you're paying attention to, you know, how people move. And you're not just, I think that when a woman gives her wound away and she has a child by a man, like that's the highest honor you could give a man. That's the highest honor you can honestly, you can give to, to anybody having their child like that is huge. And so, you know, you want to protect yourself. You want to protect that that child, you know, before you even bring them into the world. You need to ask yourself, is this the type of person? Is this person moving the way that I would see my husband or somebody that I want to spend the rest of my life with or the person that I can see, you know, fathering my child for the long run? Like have these conversations. I don't think that most people are honestly having these type of conversations. And that's the reason why we continue to see situations similar to what we just seen just now. You have to be careful, man. Um, I'm going to end it right there. Again, this is a very, very touchy subject um, because, again, man, I actually I dated someone that has went through this. And just thinking about 
again, everything that they went through. And I'm hoping and I'm praying that, you know, she did say that this is not like uh, something that's permanent. This is temporary. Like I'm coming back for my children once I get straight, you know, once I get my mental health right or whatever. But I want to hear from you guys, man. Y'all let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right. Until the next time, y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, burberry, butterna. Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work. She hit my phone. She wanna. Whoa.